Hi everyone and welcome to my Christmas gift guide for her. I have collected a bunch of stuff together. I've spent pretty much all morning thinking what would I love to give and receive from everything that I have purchased myself or got given in the last year or so and I thought I would put together a video that would perhaps help you to find gifts for your sister, your mum, your nan, your bestie, your partner, um, every everyone that you might need help with. Um, it's a very girly gift guide um, but I'm hoping you'll like it but it's also full of some great gems that I think are just classic. Things that every girl wants. Um, so without further ado let's get on with the video. I'm armed with my coffee. Of course I'm armed with my coffee. Um, so I've got my little Christmas cup and I've got my crackling fire um, candle on which if you hear any noise it's that my garland has been placed on top of my bed frame I'm not sure um, how Sean's gonna really react with that but let's go on with the video okay so we're starting out with under 10 pounds so this is stocking fillers secret Santa presents or if this is your budget some great gifts for under 10 pounds here the first without I mean, I don't think it'll be a shock that it's in here. A Lush Bath Bomb. I think these are great. I think these are almost quite personable as well because you can go into Lush or buy online and pick a scent that most represents the person you're buying for. Calming, citrus, energetic. I think a bath bomb in my stocking is just goals. Like, I, and also the smells. The smells come through. You can get gift boxes and things like that. But I've just literally... I've, picked one out from my drawer um but I've actually not used this one I think this one's really beautiful but it's just really lovely and smells amazing and it's kind of quite grown up um but you can get like I say big fun ones you can get blue pink glitter shaped ones I just think a bath bomb is such a lovely idea um and I think yeah you can get gift sets as well so I think a really great idea for under £10, definitely a great starter. Another gift for under £10, and I literally found this yesterday, went into Next and, okay this is bang on £10, so if your budget is £10, bang on £10. There is a new range from Next called Ayala, I don't, Ayala? I don't know if I've just butchered that, but this bracelet that I have on here is from, this was £10 from Next, and I think it's really beautiful. It's almost like a dupe of like Monica Vinada or Vinada, um, and all those kind of jewelry that's very, very on trend at the moment, but quite expensive. So I'm not gonna lie, this is probably not gonna last like through washing and things like this. So it's almost, it's very costume jewelry um, and it's not, you know, pure gold or anything like that, but it's just a lovely, lovely gift. They had some beautiful gold earrings, all things that were like, like almost like Majuri kind of dupes, I would say. And I just think, and this was on, on here, packaged like this. I think it's a really lovely gift. The jewellery, they had earrings, necklaces, bracelets and all of that. And I think this is actually a really good idea for um, perhaps a, a trendier or someone, or even like like the pearl, the pearl's so pretty. Um, so yeah, obviously not real gold, not real pearls, um, but I think a really lovely gift idea. The next gift idea for under 10 pounds, I think it's really super lovely, especially for like mum, nan, actually I think anyone. <laughs> I've purchased two of these and I'm keeping one myself. But um, she, she has sold out of these, but your local wax melt lady will have these kind of things. So these are beautiful Christmas themed wax melts. I've got Christmas wreath, vanilla snowflake, gingerbread, I can't wait for that one, nutcracker mulled wine, um, but they're just beautifully packaged. This is from Little Melting Moments, which is, like I say, quite a local um, business. Um, and I would, I would encourage you to shop local as well. Many people, there are so many accounts online that do wax melts. So you just need to buy a burner or check that someone perhaps has a burner already. Pop a little tea light so you can get them a set of tea lights, get them some wax melts. Um, and it's just such a lovely, I think, personable gift as well. So, another gift under £10 
is these, the Ilia Individual Lashes. Now, um, you can tell I've already used a few of these. These, I think, are really great for the kind of girl who likes to go out, um, but take time in getting ready. I think this is really great for the party goer, but also these are really fantastic for just, I went out last night and put these on. I just think they're really nice. They come in different lengths as well, um, and like glue. I think these, I could, they give you a bit of an idea on how to use them. I think this is a really great stocking filler really nice just to add in just to almost like bulk up a stocking i'd be really chuffed if i got a bunch of these i go through these so much um but yeah these are really good okay so now we're gonna head on into the 10 to 20 range ish i might go slightly over potentially um so the first item which i think is really lovely are these these again are from next 12 pounds for this it's a really beautiful gold detailed frame and you can get a picture printed i personally would if i was given this as a gift would get a picture put in this so i would go down to boots and get one printed or get one online i think it's just super lovely just to have like on your bedside table um i think it's a really nice gift and i think the gold is not too gold like i say this is from next um yeah really like these the next item is a body shop mask i think these are fantastic my favorite is the himalayan charcoal um and the ginseng there's also rose for anyone with dehydrated skin uh there is oh harley snoring these two are great for unclogging pores so anyone that suffers with any kind of breakouts or oily skin you've got coffee which is for the coffee lover you've got oh mediterranean oats which is sensitive skin i think they're really great and they're such really i think this one's empty this one ooh, so they come with like this nice kind of packaging here and really kind of really good size i think these are about 18 pounds and what's great as well is after you use this you can actually rinse these off and pe I've seen people like grow herbs in them or they've used them as like kind of storing like cotton wool pads and things like that I think these are these are quite a nice little stocking filler or a nice gift just pop a little bow on the top cute now I think this is under 20 pounds <laughs> could be wrong I should have checked my facts but uh, this is the nice cream scrunchie there are so many scrunchie companies out there I got this last Christmas and it has lasted really really well this is in like a champagne taupe color these are great because they don't damage your hair so get rid of the the elasticated bubbles and you can get also um these kind of ones as well which are invisible ones but i think this one was particularly nice because it came in like this really cute um box set with a bow on i think it might have been more than 20 pounds actually i can't remember but yeah really really super sweet i think and looks really great in the hair you can get little smaller ones as well if, if the person you're buying for you don't think will like a big one they come in loads of different colors i think they're really sweet as well just to wear on your wrist the gift of beauty <laughs> this is retails at bang on 20 pounds there is a brand new book so get the person you're buying for the brand new one it's almost like skincare updated it's got a lot of stuff about like kind of covid and masks and things like this and obviously up to date recommendations this is just such a great book from caroline hirons she's just straight talking she's she's really good so for anyone who's into skincare beauty i think this is a really nice book i think there are pink versions as well i'm not too sure i'm pretty sure i've seen a pink version but this i just find myself sometimes just at night just oh like loving it like look at this it says using acid toner is like taking your face to the gym there's some great quotes on it and kind of giving you information about it so for anyone who wants to learn about skincare beauty therapists anyone <laughs> It's a really great gift for £20. I just had to stop filming because there was a spider. <laughs> so, we can resume. Okay, so where did I get to? <laughs> that was very traumatic. So, the next item. This is £14.99 and this is the Bex King Self... Self-love book? 
book good vibes good life this is really great for anyone who's into manifestation or trying to like improve their life this is full of great quotes it's a really nice kind of coffee table book as well um it's just really sweet and it's full of like great great kind of quotes to help you to kind of feel more positive for example i've just opened this page sometimes you have to unplug yourself from the world for a moment so you can reset yourself just really nice really nice book for just someone who's kind of into aesthetics as well i would say a great gift idea for perhaps mum or anyone who likes makeup that's quite quick or on the go is these laura mercier caviar sticks they are great they're eyeshadow sticks and oh, this is a pack of three but i think individually i can't remember how much the pack of three was but these are mini but individually they'll, they'll be under 20 pounds but they're just really great you can pick a color and you've got some shimmers you've got some solid colors but they're just really good and so pigmented i really really rate them and like i say they're so quick so for anyone that's kind of on the go um it's a really nice gift of quick makeup <laughs> i think this is my last idea i think <laughs> of under 20 pounds um slippers socks slippers i think these were from tesco um, i won't show you too much they have been loved and worn um but just these kind of slippers are really cute you can get them in different colors um i think they were something like 15 pounds but you can get them from probably your local supermarket which is really great because then it means that you don't have to pop into town and i just think these are really nice a bit like slipper socks slipper socks why aren't slipper socks in my gift guide if you're watching this get some slipper socks for someone honestly i am so i love it when i get like cozy cozy socks okay so we are heading into the 30 to 40 maybe 50 ish price range now and we are stepping it up a level and this is perhaps more of a main gift so my first recommendation i think comes at around 25 pounds is pjs pjs in a bag pjs in a bag i think these are beautiful i got these last christmas from in the style this is the saffron barker collection and the reason that i'm saying is because i'm sure um in the style probably do another set of pajamas just the same they come in this gorgeous drawstring drawstring bag and they are long super long super super long i'm five foot four and these are perfect length um with this beautiful silk detail and then the shirt top i must admit i don't wear this to bed but i wear it of the evening uh, it's really cute and i tell you now i've spilt pasta on this i have i have washed this so many times they've not shrunk they've not snagged easily either really really great set of pajamas that's in the style um, I'll try and link below if I can find these or something really similar. Um, but I'm sure that different ranges come back and they probably use the same kind of material and length. I'm going to ask for another pair this Christmas. The next product is a makeup recommendation. Um, I think the gift of makeup is fabulous, obviously. Um, so this is a Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I think it's really great all around a mascara for any age. The brush is just beautiful um, i'm not sure that's going to go into focus but it's really really nice kind of heavy heavyweight mascara and a really great gift in my opinion the next gift that comes in is this cute ring here from another kind of small business this is from holly and maya jewelry i've been buying jewelry from them for quite some time now i have some things on my wish list but um this is a really cute if you can see it i've got an a on here i think this kind of jewelry is really on trend at the moment so um abbott abbott leon i think they're called do quite a lot of their types of jewelry but it's quite pricey whereas this ring i think comes in at around 25 pounds they have lovely gorgeous necklaces that you can have a on with or the heart with a on you might not want a if your name doesn't begin with a like you know 
don't <laughs> so um really great business go check them out there on etsy i'll link them below um but yeah this is really really lovely ring if you're unsure about ring sizes then perhaps head for a bracelet but I think those kind of jewelry, the jewelry that they do is great for like my mum loves them. Um, so for mum, auntie, even Nan, Nan might love a, like a lovely kind of beaded bracelet. So yeah, go check them out. The next item that I think is really great. If you're watching this, get this yourself. <laughs> I think this is fab. This is from CGD London. I love a planner. This is for the average person who loves to plan their day. Um, I'm gonna pick you a page. I do need a new one. I've almost used this up, but it's just so great. So you can pop in the day. I've mentioned this before in another video. You can pop in what you've eaten if you like, or your shopping list, a to-do list. It's a really nice leather, leather bound, um, notepad you can get loads you can you can buy them on budget so if you like the look of this you can probably get one in your local wh smith for a little bit cheaper but yeah i bought this online well, actually no i didn't buy this as a gift um, but i definitely definitely need another one of these so great and they're really durable as well next i'm going to recommend the gift of charlotte tilbury i think everyone would feel super happy getting charlotte tilbury under the tree it's just so pretty this is the translucent powder which i'm not entirely sure i'm on board with but i have been using it so i think i am <laughs> but this is really really lovely packaging and then you've got the iconic pillow talk lipstick which is well loved i don't think you can go wrong with charlotte tilbury there are different price points you can get something cheaper something a bit more expensive i've popped this in the kind of 20 to 30 pound mark because each item is around that i think this is under 20 but yeah i really love charlotte tilbury and i definitely recommend it as a gift the gift of baking <laughs> this comes in at 25 pounds this is the bake-off box i have been loving the bake-off box i've actually stopped my membership i would love to start it again but the you can buy one-off boxes for $24.99, I think it is. There's a Christmas box, so you can always buy someone a one-off Christmas box. Or you can buy someone a subscription. Perhaps you can sign up for three months for them. I think a subscription service is a really nice gift because it's something that possibly people wouldn't treat themselves for. Um, but yeah, this was one of the first things that I made. Didn't look as good as that. Uh, but yeah, they're really great and they come with like a baking item. I think also, if we're talking about like subscription things, Beauty Pie is great. So you can sign someone up to a Beauty Pie membership where they can buy cheaper skincare. Um, what else? Candle. I think a candle making set is a really great idea as well. And also on my personal wish list is a calligraphy set so that I can learn to write calligraphy. So that is personally because I'm getting married in 2023. Um, I can perhaps do some bits myself to make things cheaper so it could be great for anyone who's into like stationery crafting the gift of subscriptions and creativity is high high on my list I think it's a really great personable gift and something that's kind of the gift that keeps on giving they don't just open it put it to one side they can open it and do it Next we have the NARS Orgasm um, palette. This is the cheap palette. I think it's beautiful. I've done a video on this. Really, really stunning colours. I definitely recommend this for anyone who loves makeup. It's quite, I think it's about £45, so it's quite a purchase, something that perhaps people wouldn't buy themselves. Really, really lovely gift. Okay, now we are heading to like the £50 marks, a bit more like luxury beauty perhaps. The first item that I'm going to recommend is a Jo Malone candle. It's such a great gift, such a luxury gift that someone probably wouldn't buy themselves. Well, they might, but <laughs> it comes in these beautiful boxes, which you can reuse. Um, I've got two candles and they're both stunning. The first one is the Lime, Basil and Mandarin candle. And they come this kind of cute bow on the top. And this is really nice and kind of fresh fragrance. And then I've got the pom pomegranate, I struggle to say that, noir, which is like their very classic scent. This is beautiful and smells just like an, almost like a really nice dark perfume. It's really like, I don't know what notes, well, pom pomegranate, pom pomegranate. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really lovely candle, really great gift for anyone who loves their homeware as well. These look stunning around the house 
and a really nice gift. I think that comes in at around £50. They're quite pricey, but they're great. The next beauty items, very luxury. I think we're at about £50, £40-£50 for the full price and around £70 for this. Oh, the Elemis is such a stunning brand that I think any female, I'm not sure it's vegan, but any female would love this under the tree. Elemis is such a stunning, like, it's such a luxury brand. Their cleansing balm is insane. So lovely. Smells like a spa. This is great for anyone who loves to go to a spa or loves to take time with their skincare. And this is the Marine um, Cream. It's really good. It's so good. This is great for mum, I think. Um, but I love it, personally. The gift of Converse. Now, don't buy these. These are so tatty. I think you can't go wrong with Converse, though. So, if you're perhaps buying for someone that's almost, like, not as girly. But, actually, I think everyone loves these. But I would recommend the black high-top ones, personally. That's what I would love. Um, but, yeah, the gift of Converse. You can't go wrong with Converse. These are so well-loved. But, yeah, I would definitely recommend, for the winter months, the black high-top version. I'll pop maybe pop one on the screen but these are really really cool and trendy and never go out of style they never go out of fashion really great gift next up we have the gift of chanel now perfumes are around i think probably about 60 70 pounds maybe you can buy a nail varnish just popping this under the tree is so so special i think and a really great gift i really think if I saw a Chanel bag, I don't even care what's inside it, I'd be so excited. I really think this is such a lovely special gift for perhaps your partner um, or someone very special to you. Um, yeah, I'm not just promoting the bag. There's actually nothing in here. <laughs> face masks, I think. Yeah, face masks. <laughs> I think I got this when I got a perfume and I kept the bag because I thought it was so cute. Um, so yeah, the gift of Chanel. Okay, now we are heading to the over £100 mark. So that person must be pretty special if you're spending that much on them. But <laughs> if you want to get your um, your loved one something really super special, my first, ooh, my first recommendation would be a designer wallet card holder. Card holders are really great at the moment because so many people use smaller bags or they don't even have bags. This person, this one is Kate Spade. I think this actually came out, this was under £100. It's actually a really good bargain. I got this from an outlet. But the YSL one is so beautiful. That would be high up on my list, I think. And that comes in at over £100. But I think these are really good. They hold a lot of cards in. Um, and they often have like a designer detail. So if someone's asked for a designer bag, but you can't quite afford a designer bag, um, and your budget doesn't stretch that long, then, um, or that far, <laughs> then a designer kind of card holder, I think is a really, really good option. And it's almost saying like, I know you want to design a handbag, and I can't quite get there, but how about this? And I think anyone would love a designer card holder because they can still get it out and show people. Yeah, it's really lovely. The next over a hundred pounds um, item is this Fitbit. Now um, it, they come with a a fabric strap. I think Fitbits are great. This is for anyone who is into fitness or wants to get fit or wants to track the steps um, or what else do they do? Sleep. <laughs> So this is actually currently not charged, um, but I bought this this strap on Amazon, so you can always grab an extra strap for someone who wants it to be more fashion-y. Um, I think they're really great, and it's a really nice dupe of the Apple one, because the Apple one is like something like £300, I think, whereas this comes in, I think, at about 170 I got this for my birthday. I love it. I wear it all the time, except for when it's dyed. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really great gift, and I definitely recommend getting a few additional straps, so the person that you're buying for potentially can like swap and change um this came with this is like the gold version there's rose gold silver black is there silver black yeah i think it's really lovely the next item which is over 100 pounds it's not this nothing in this but it made me remind me of it is an espresso machine or a velvetizer a hotel chocolat 
Velvetizer. I think those kind of gifts are really great. I got an espresso machine a couple of years ago. They're quite pricey, but they're great. Um, but I really would love the Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer. They do it in like rose gold, white, beautiful matte black. Really, really lovely for anyone who loves hot chocolate. It's quite pricey. And it's something that potentially people wouldn't buy themselves, I don't think, as much. So a really great gift. The gift of drinking. <laughs> I think this comes in at around £160. This is the Foreo UFO. I've done a video on this. I'll link it. But this is really stunning. So for anyone who's into skincare, this is great. This, you buy masks. So I would recommend grabbing some masks for the person as well. So you can buy a mask, you pop the sheet mask on there, it goes through all these LED lights. It's a really great like spa treatment. You can also buy, if your budget's a little bit less, I think they're a bit cheaper, maybe about 130 maybe. You can buy the Foreo cleansing um, device. Uh, and that's really lovely. I've personally got that on my wish list. And uh, I just think these are really stunning. They come in this beautiful packaging. Really great, really great Christmas gift for someone very special who loves skincare. Now we are going to go super luxury now for anyone spending a couple of hundred and they want to just really, really treat someone. Uh, oh my God, come into my life if you're spending that much. But I just wanted to put some gift ideas out there for anyone who is really, really wanting to treat them um, this year. So the first thing that I would recommend is a designer handbag, of course. Now, some real good kind of classic designer handbags. I think a mulberry. Uh, it doesn't go out of fashion. It's not trend-led. They're also under a thousand pounds. Another great designer handbag is this Kurt Geiger handbag. This come in, I think, at about two hundred pounds. Really nice option um, and really durable as well. This is just really beautiful, classy handbag. Um, I think a just really nice handbag for someone that you want to treat. Last but not least is. This isn't very like photogenic really, but for anyone who is into photography or who is looking to get into vlogging, the Canon, it's upside down, the Canon G7 Mark X II, um, which is what I'm filming on right now. I've had this for about a year and a half now. I love it. I love it for photography as well. It's a really great starter camera, really durable, really quite small and compact, quite light, and a really great kind of starter camera. I think this comes in at just over £500. It's quite pricey, but if you are looking to treat someone, I think this is a really nice gift for someone who is perhaps potentially trying to get into the vlogger game um, and a really good uh, option. Right, I think that is everything. I'm sure I've forgotten things. If I do remember anything, I'll pop a link below. But those are my top items for her to get for Christmas um, or birthdays or any time or to put on your own Christmas wish list. If, if there's anything I've mentioned that you have on your Christmas wish list, then comment below. Or if I've missed anything, let me know what you've asked for because I'm actually a little bit stuck for ideas now. I feel like I've got everything now that I want, but um, I've mentioned a few things in here. So Santa, if you are watching, you know I want the Velvetizer. <laughs> so um, yeah, that concludes my video and I will see you in my next video, which will be Vlogmas. I'm so excited for Vlogmas. I've got so many plans. So remember to hit subscribe so that you can watch Vlogmas. I've got loads of like skincare that I'm going to delve into and just loads of kind of big news as well. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.